down there around the corner from me. Mm -hmm. Guy had his garage open, he was looking to get rid of it, told me there was issues with the motor. Okay. Not to start it. So I found out that it was the timing chain. So what I did was I replaced the entire front here. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light on here. It's got a Windsor in it? No, it's just a 302. A 302. Where'd you get the car? From around the corner from here? Yeah. 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 Guy had his garage door open and I was like, yeah, you sell them? He's like, yep. The floors are good? They are, yeah. I have no issues with the floors whatsoever. There's a new gas tank and ascending unit as well. Okay. Uh, my future objective, springtime, I was going to do the tune-up, take care of the leak, and whatever else I have. The brakes probably need to be replaced. Okay. But I had the interior just done by the Herder Brothers. Oh, wow. All this was taken apart. Like when I first bought the car, you could actually take this whole dashboard apart with bare hands. So that's all been taken care of. The seats are from a 92 Fox body. Like you can, when you put on the brakes, you shift the gears, and it's just out of the front and the back. So I got the Surprisingly, pan on. Surprisingly, the undercarriage isn't bad at all. Yeah. yeah. My problem is, and my wife's problem really, is this. Oh yeah. There's just not enough room. My I had a 2004, which stopped right about here. She's not so. happy about that. No, she's not oh, at all. God, so. Yeah. I mean, guys, overall, it seems like a, a decent car. I like because it's a fastback, but it. It's going to need some work to get going 100%. This would make a perfect car for somebody that wants to either do a total restoration or wants to make a daily driver out of it. Um, it's not as bad as I initially thought. Uh, the interior is good. Uh, the paint's not in bad condition. Got a little bit of issues with rust, but not on the undercarriage. You got just a little slight back in the trunk. You got a little bit on this door. It's not horrible. The shock tower's got a little bit. I've seen plenty worse, and I think it's not bad at all. And I think this would make a, a good ride for somebody. Hopefully, I made the client an offer. He's going inside to think about it, talk to his wife about it. Uh, with the offer I made him, it should save us some room where if we run into problems, we can make sell a profit if we restore it or sell it to the next buyer. If you want to get it and restore it and take care of this car, we can still make a profit on it. At the end of the day, we're in it to make a profit. So hopefully we can put a deal together because I like this car, it's cool. It's got 302 in it. It's got power steering, power brakes. The client did say it needs a tune-up, so we would probably get it back and throw some plugs, wires, uh, you know, get it running right, dial down the tune, you know, timing to it. Looks like the battery is new. Power steering components look new too. Valve covers are in nice condition. It's got it's kind of carb it's got on it. Is it a two barrel or four? They got a two barrel or four barrel on it. Four barrel. Four. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a two barrel car, but the guy placed it with a four barrel manifold. Deal. Cool. So you just got to run back to the shop and come back. You want to take, take it today? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So we just bought a nice uh, 73 Mustang Fastback. We put a deal together. We're going back to our shop. It's a local car right in our backyard. We're going to get some cash. We're going to get our trailer, pick it up. I was planning on taking the day off today after this deal. I had some things I needed to take care of in my personal life. But when you're a business owner, when you're rocking and rolling, I got a good car, I got to go back to the shop, we got to load it up, so we ain't taking the rest of the day off, we're working, we got to do what we got to do. That's what happens when you own a business. A lot of people say, oh Rob, you got this, you're making money, you got nice cars, you got a nice house, you got blah, 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 blah. It's easy, but they don't see that you can't just take off when you want. When the money's there, you got to take it. That's how you make money. You got to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, one customer at a time, incremental business. Time to work, time to go, let's get on it boys, let's go back to the shop, grab our trailer and we'll come back. What are we doing guys? We're verifying VIN number. We talked about this before. Perfect. That's a weird. This is really strange. What's that? Nah, I'm just not gonna get you. Say what? I gotta mess with you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good one. All right. I know this is the original engine with the car as well, just not the four-barrel manifold. Mm -hmm. 